Hello there. In this video, we're gonna see what is really Internet of Things. What are these devices? What really does it do? What all can you do? And how big is it? I have taken information from Cisco, Intel, Dr. Mazlan Abbas, Walla Officer, and I have created a mashup to digest all of this massive information in under 10 minutes. So thank you to all of these guys up front. According to Cisco, Internet of Things is the intelligent connectivity of physical devices which in turn drive massive gains in terms of efficiency, business growth and quality of life. That is a good definition. Now why should we do Internet of Things? It brings in efficiency, it creates new economic value for companies, for the governments, for people and ultimately it improves the quality of life. How big is this market? Just like Sirka tried to say in 1940, it was very difficult to understand what is the market of plastics. Today, as you see, plastics are everywhere. Now, just like that, IoT is going to be everywhere, whether it's going to be physical and tangible or intangible. Now, if you're thinking where all is going to be present, is it specific to a vertical or a specific group of people or companies? No, it's everywhere. It's going to be in IT, it's going to be in consumer, it's going to be in industries of all kind. As long as it has a turn on and off switch, you're going to be having an IoT. Let's look at this picture. So here we talk about connecting, for example, let's say your hospital to your smart grid and to the city intelligent systems and then your stadium and then your traffic optimization and then let's say your schools and your office equipment, let's say your home equipment. Let's say all of these things are connected and they're all talking to the cloud service which is an intangible thing. So these tangible equipments are talking to the intangible over the cloud services and then when you mix people and processes to this then here we have a virtual grid something like the matrix. I remember watching matrix and being really excited. All of that good stuff we heard let's see technically what this is all about. In the heart of it these devices have sensors and actuators now this is something like the human being we have sensory organs so we have eyes we can see we have the nose we can smell we have the skin to touch so we have all these different kinds of sensors in our body similarly these devices will also have sensors and then this has to be connected just like all of these are connected to our brain all of these sensors are going to be pushing data to a cloud platform or to something which is sitting remotely and then like we take decisions like human beings take decision like for example let's say i'm driving a car now that information is pushed to my brain let's say if somebody's crossing the road so i understand that okay i have sensed that there's danger my mind has processed it and then i take a decision to push on the brakes so that is the people and processes so we can program the system to act in a way which benefits us and which we want to use now let's take one step further let's see what are the different sensors we're talking about today we have sensors of all kinds we have sensors to sense light temperature humidity motion to your presence not presence acceleration tilt level force pump flow chemical gas anything and everything we are going to be using these sensors in our devices then we are going to be pushing this information to the cloud network now to do that you're going to be using the networks you're going to be using the data layer you're going to be using the physical layer you're going to be using the application layer for the physical layer link layer we have all the different protocols man van lan pan and then data link layer we got the ethernet or wi-fi when you come to the application layer we got the tcp ip so mqtt http co-op and then also we have a lot of other new protocols specifically for iot like z-wave and zigbee so you can use all of these to in your devices and then finally we push this information also not to forget the 3g to the cloud database ultimately it has your information and finally you can program on that cloud and then from there you can control this device and then control other devices and then use this information and in however it benefits you let's take a look at people and processes so once we get all that massive information what are we going to do let's take an example let's say that you have a sensor which tells you how much is the light 
and what is the temperature now let's say that you push this information to the cloud or let's say that you have an api which talks to your email so every time the light goes below a certain degree you want yourself to get an email hey boss the light has gone down to this level do you want to switch on your lights now we're talking to an array of technologies using apis and platform and physical tangible and intangible things then you say yes i want the light turn on your light so this is a very small example obviously this can be multiplied so i can control a set of iot devices or i can control a whole city that's amazing isn't it different use cases are location tracking financial management you can see what your customers are doing and you can take decisions automation of your home control of your home supply chain management security of your home and anything else and anywhere else energy consumption all of this on your mobile device or any app anywhere so you can control all these devices from anywhere in the world. Now what really happens when you put the two things together? So you're putting the physical innovation and the non-physical intangible software innovation together. So you get wonderful applications coming out. Really a great time to be in terms of innovation. So for example, you have smart thermostats. So this tells you what is the temperature. It switches on your thermostat, switches off your thermostat, and therefore it brings down your electricity bill. Well, who doesn't like an extra hundred bucks? You have connected cars, you have activity trackers, you have smart outlets. So this is something which we are going to be doing in the course. Guys, at the end of this course, you're going to be able to make this. In fact, you should be able to make a lot of devices very similar to what we're seeing now. Now we are all thinking, all right, this is this sounds good, this is exciting. So how large is this market? What is the dinero we're talking about? In 2014, there were 2 billion devices. Now if you think that's a lot, that is only the tip of the iceberg. In 2020, there are going to be 8 billion devices. There is a good news for all the inventors, all the consultants and all the small players is that most of this or a major chunk of this is going to come from the home consumer market and also the safety market so imagine you have a great potential to create your own products and sell it by yourself or sell it with another vendor or do whatever you want to do it's time to unleash your innovative and that geek inside you and build great products now let's look at another distribution of capital for the guys who are a little bit more serious. So exactly in terms of numbers, home consumer market is going to be 397 billion, transport is going to be 76 billion, health is going to be 48 billion, building infrastructure 210 and cities are going to be 270 billion. Imagine the amount of money the governments are going to be spending in connecting smart meters, smart lights, smart sewage, smart electricity. Guys, this is real. This is going to be huge and this is a piece for everybody now let's take a look at what IBM says they have actually put a category and put a dollar figure right next to it so we're talking about connected car market at 600 billion dollars so for all the car companies out there good news for all the car enabling software automation guys good news now let's take a look at another company let's say traffic management 100 billion dollars building automation 40 billion dollars this is going to create a whole array of new companies and a lot of new players are going to come into picture because the set of technology and the know-how which you need to build these devices is new. It's there but you have to learn it and you have to understand it. That's what this course is all about. You're going to be learning how to build and take a piece of these markets. Are you excited? I am. Thank you.